Submit collected values. Related links. You would like to make your annual heating bill a little cheaper or simply check whether the measuring service has recorded the correct values in relation to your heating use. Then simply read off your heating yourself. How this works, we'll tell you in this post. We describe every value on the display of an electronic heat cost allocator. We also provide instructions on how to assert your self-reading. The heat cost allocator installed on your radiator makes it possible to precisely record your consumption share and to compare it with the consumption rates of the other users connected to the heating network. So the measuring service can determine the costs per household. To make sure that you are not cheated in the annual statement, it is advisable to read the heat cost allocator itself. In addition, you can save high costs by taking this step and submitting the calculated values to the landlord and responsible metering service. But what do the individual numbers mean on the display of an electronic heat cost allocator? We clarify. In addition to electronic heat cost allocators, there are occasionally even devices that work according to the old evaporation principle. With these, however, it makes less sense to read the values themselves, since they cannot be asserted. For this reason, we concentrate in this guide entirely on the reading of electronic heat cost allocators. Why read the heater? You may be wondering what you should read your heater for yourself. As mentioned at the beginning, in most cases it is a matter of checking the annual statement and of being able to complain if necessary. By comparing the values you read and noted with the metrics collected, you can see if the billing is correct or incorrect. Furthermore, you have the option of saving cash by reading the heating yourself. In fact, it is the case that extra costs are incurred for carrying out the procedure by an external reader, which are included in the annual bill. Unfortunately, these costs are usually not listed individually, so you as a tenant get no direct insight, as far as the amount of this additional amount. Read the values yourself and submit them to the landlord or the property management, see last section in this guide, eliminates this undesirable plus. Electronic heat cost allocators, key date programmed versus continuous units. In the case of electronic heat cost allocators, differentiation is made between scheduled and continuous devices. The difference is simple and understandable for everyone. In the case of scheduled distributors, you can read the value for the last year key date in addition to the current consumption value. Meaning of the values. This is how the display sequence is designed for a typical daytime program device type WHE30 and WHE30Z. First value of the display loop equals current consumption value. It indicates the consumption since the last key date. Second value of the display loop equals display test. It is recognizable by the letters M and C underneath and serves to demonstrate to you that the display has no defect. Third value of the add loop equals due date. It corresponds to the last day of a payroll period, i.e. the respective time of the past annual payroll. Fourth value of the display loop equals consumption value on the reference date. It shows the consumption until the last key date and is always marked by a preceding M stands for memory. Note, if no key date has been programmed, four dashes appear next to the M, i.e. Fifth value of the add loop equals check number. Above all, it is important for the responsible billing company. It can be used to check the correctness of the current consumption value. The check number is also referred to as check number and accordingly initiated on the display of the electronic heat cost allocator by a C. Important, not every heat cost allocator displays the different values in the order described above. Some deviate from it. With the knowledge of the meaning of the individual numbers, however, it is always easier for you to correctly assign and understand the individual details. Type 1801 or 201. Note, another important information is the device number. It is usually noted directly on the heat cost allocator. Hints. A few general notes on the values of a scheduled heat cost allocator. The annual consumption M migrates to the agreed deadline and can be read for a year thereafter before the new annual consumption value is stored. When the new annual consumption value comes into storage, the current consumption value changes to 0, 000. 000. For a continuous device, the representations of the annual consumption value and the cutoff date are omitted. Attention, sometimes you have to touch the heat cost allocator, sensor key, to start the display loop. The contact terminates the standby mode of the display function.
Submit collected values. In order to be able to assert your self-recorded values, you usually need the agreement of the landlord or the property management company for self-reading. Get the approval, write down all the data and numbers, including the device number, very important. In addition, the following information is usually required. Meter reading. Property number. Property address. User number. All these values and other information must be sent in writing and signed by you to the landlord or property manager. As a result, the landlord or the property manager also signs your self-reading document and then forwards it to the responsible measuring service. Tip, if you are dealing with a heat cost allocator with continuous counting, that is, without key day programming, the read consumption value of the last annual statement is the initial value for the current period. Take a look at the billing from the past year and state the old reading in your self-reading document. Frequently asked question, can be deduced from the readings on the heating costs greater than. Important, if your heat cost allocator is integrated into a radio system, the required values are usually read out fully automatically via GSM or broadband cable. Then the self-reading serves only the self-control. Related links. If you have problems with the heating system, for example, is not it getting really hot or is it jamming the valve? Here you can find more tips and tutorials on heating. Calculate heating costs. Change thermostat. To refill water. Radiator does not get warm. Bleed the heater. Category. Bathroom and sanitary. Previous article fold origami elephant. Instructions plus paper. Banknote template.